What's going on, folks? It is K-Spade the Prospect. I am back, of course. I'm always back, right? I'm back with more NBA 2K16, my GM gameplay. I wanted to show you guys what happened after that last Chicago loss. I did Sam a win against the Hawks. It was like a, you know, we doubled back for more. I guess we thought they was chumps. We came back for some more. And I simmed the next two games, which was losses. And then we had the Spurs coming up. I decided, you know, I might better get in the car. I might better see how this goes down. Your boy Larry Sanders came in my office, right? I was thinking he was going to come in there and realize that he was stealing money from us because he really ain't producing that good. But your boy decided he wanted some more play time. And I can kind of understand. You, I mean, everybody want to play. I want my players to want to play. So right now, we have persuaded Larry that if he just keeps producing, we're going to try to get him a little bit of more PT. And we may. I don't know, man. I, I really got a conundrum going on with my bigs. But enough of that. Let's get into some gameplay. Like I said, man, we got the Spurs tonight, and we are on the road taking on these Spurs in San Antonio, Texas. We stopped at a nice little spot. We got us some grub. We got full tummies. Now we want to come out here, beat these Spurs, and get the hell out of Texas. That's the only game plan, right? This team right here is going to be tough for obvious reasons. The number one thing I'm somewhat concerned about is Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi is a great defender. He's also a pretty good offensive player, and I'm... Y'all gonna give me a hell about that. I think he's a really good offensive player, right? I'm not so much worried about Tim Duncan. We gonna put Porzingis on Timmy, shut him down, and I really believe that Pat Bev is gonna do a pretty good job with Tony Parker. So the only thing I'm concerned about is Kawhi, which is crazy because on paper, the Spurs should be like a super tough team. I should be worried about these guys, but I'm not. I was more worried about teams like Chicago or even Cleveland. So let's get into it. It don't matter how I feel before the game. It's really how I feel after the game because you feel like you can win them all. So I talked with Fish before the game, and Coach Fisher assured me that he had a pretty good game plan for these Spurs. Two parts. One, we're going to keep a spy on Kawhi. Now, I know you usually hear spy when you're talking about football, but basically we're going to let Melo man him up, and we're going to keep some defenders kind of watching Melo back, just in case. We're not trying to say Melo's a bad defender, just saying, you know? But part two, we want to be more aggressive. Now, don't get me wrong. We built this team to be a three-point shooting team. We have snipers. We got the personnel to come out here and shoot threes every possession. That don't mean it's the best shot all the time. And looking back at the game log of some of the past games, I really think the Knicks have been settling for too many threes. But it's about the perfect mix. We're not going to stop shooting them. You see Lance like, hold up, let me get mine in before you shut it down. Nah, Lance, you good. And you talking to the Rainmaker too, so you know Ray won't hear. Look at Ray running off that screen, pulling Rainmaker. I love to see Ray Allen run off that screen, man. It just looks so official. I like that. So we still going to take our three-pointers, y'all. That's what I built this team to do. But I don't need to be taking 15, 20 threes again. That's just too much. That's too many threes. So we want to be more aggressive. We want to attack the basket. Worst case scenario, maybe we get some of these Spurs in foul trouble. This guy right here, Boris Diaw, I kind of forgot about Boris in my scouting report. He is a guy that really can impact the game. Oh, my God. Boris almost got boomed on. Now, you know D-Will will dunk. And I like that about the dude. He really was about to take Boris Diaw up out of this game. That's a smart foul. But anyway, like I was saying, man, we want to attack the basket some and just see if we can benefit from the aggression and then mix in the threes. The threes are still going to be there, but just not so much, right? We got a very competitive game here early. Great ball movement, but look at Danny Green with the block. Melo tried to get cute with the reverse. Melo, just turn around and throw the ball in the rim, bro. What was all that extra stuff? To shoot. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Look at this beautiful play for Melo. Man, I love that. Melo pulls the midi, catches that thing out. I love that dude's shot, man. Melo got the wettest jumper. Damn, you can't even say that because Steph looking over here like, what? Never mind, Steph. He got the wettest jumper in New York. That's what I'm trying to say. The Spurs won't go away, but the good news is the Knicks won't let them close that gap even more. It keeps going, you know. We just exchanging baskets. A bucket here, bucket there. We kind of doing our thing. Look at Pat Bell moving without the rock. That's what we need, man. All, all the players out here contributing. And I like it. It's going to take everybody, too. It really is. So you remember I told you, if I get production from Ray Allen, if I get production from Derrick Williams, and if I get production from Lance Thomas, I like our chances against anybody. And against the Spurs, we're going to need all those players to contribute. Look at this right here. Melo. 
That pick and roll didn't really work real right there. Melo realizes he got Tim Duncan ISO. Let me get some of this. He eventually draws the double team. A nice pass to Kylo Quinn who bangs that down. Anytime Tim Duncan goes one-on-one -on -one with somebody who can dribble, you're going to cause the defense to double team. They know Timmy ain't guarding nobody, y'all. They know it. Tony Parker getting in the game like, oh, so you're not worried about me? Tony's so emotional. Three-point game, y'all. Lance Thomas goes back to the basket. Here comes the double team, and I don't know how that pass got in there, but it did. The pass found his way to Larry Sanders. Larry goes up with two hands because he want more playing time, right? Can't go up with one hand and risk something happening when you're trying to get more PT. Derrick Williams moving without the ball. He went on a spell in this game where he just kind of spassed out. Two seconds on the shot clock, stepping up, taking a, a ugly contested shot and cashing it out. So I said, oh, okay. I see Derrick got his lucky rabbit's foot today. Cool. Galloway, dribble drive, kicks it back out. Derrick cashing out the midi. Okay. Now, I ain't tell y'all, but I've had Derrick Williams in my office about playing time too. So I really got an issue, but look at Derrick. He just temporarily kind of got on fire. He was being defended well, but he still was cashing out. And speaking of cashing out, man, Ray Allen in that corner. You know how that go. You know how that go. You can ask the Heat how that goes. The Spurs still fighting though, trying to stay in the game, man. The Knicks had ran off for a minute, so the Spurs look to respond. We go into the half. It should have been 10, but they do respond right there at the end. It's an eight-point game at the half. The thing you're going to see, the Spurs are shooting like crap from outside. I mean, the Knicks are shooting from outside, but still not a great percentage. About 37 38%, but it was less than 20% for the Spurs, and that just may be the difference. Melo gets a tough running floater to go. And you know what? If we getting the kind of lucky shots we getting, these boys in trouble, man. They in trouble. Kawhi looking to turn up. I fully expect the Spurs to go on a run. And I'm thinking the run is going to start right around here. Pat Bev says, that's bad defense. Pulls the three, cashes the three. You know, if he had to miss that, I'd have told Derek Fisher to pull him. Because it don't sound like he listening. But when they go in, ain't nobody mad. David West right here at the top of the key. Nice play. Tony Parker off the screen. Looking like Ray Allen a little bit. Okay. Six-point game, folks. Knicks better get right. Because you know when the Spurs get it rolling, they get it rolling. Pat Bell being defended. Pretty much half court. Gets it down low to Porzingis. Porzingis, the fader. Cashing it out. So, hey, man, these teams are just exchanging blows, kind of stealing moves from one another. Melo with the pump fake goes to the basket and dunks on the big fella. Y'all got me feeling some kind of way when Melo dunk now because y'all be like, you know Melo don't really dunk like that. I know it. Y'all know it. Melo knows it, but shh, 2K doesn't know it, apparently. So let Melo be great in this series, yo. Look at this. Pat Bell with some great defense. I don't know what the hell Tony Parker was thinking right there. Uh, I don't know. That was just an awful take, man. But Melo has the cushion for the midi. You know his midi is money. He cashes that out. Folks, we back up to a 10-point lead right here. Pat Bell, dribble drive. You get so deep into the paint that the defense don't know what to do. You just hand it off to the big and let him finish. That's easy. I mean, that's, that's legit easy. Tony Parker right here, getting the pick, going to the basket, kicking it back. David West couldn't get the shot to go, man. I believe Porzingis actually got out there to affect the shot, and we're going to go oop. Let's go, Melo with the oop from Aaron Aflalo, hanging on the rim, swinging on the rim. We got young Melo. I'm tight. I, why y'all didn't tell me you can't change hair? I wanted to go put some cornrows in Melo head, man. I was going to take him back to the old days. You can't change hair. Come on, 2K. Brothers don't have the same hairdo forever. You know, we switch it up sometimes. Manu Ginobili gets off the bench, tries to give his team a spark. They're going to need it. Kawhi doing the same thing. Nice ISO. I said we would be spying Kawhi, but I guess the spy was slow right there. Kawhi get the basket to go. It's the fourth quarter, man. Melo, Melo he, he gets going in the fourth. Like, I don't care how bad of the first three quarters Melo have. Something happened in the fourth quarter, and he usually just turns up. So if he does that... I'll take this lead we got right here, and I believe we can hold on to it. Melo right here. Slowing it up. Getting it up to Porzingis, who goes up with two. I hate how low he be getting off the ground. Like, he mad tall, but he athletic, too. And 2K got him. He be jumping, like, two inches off the ground. I guess it don't matter. He got the bucket. Double team on Melo. He finds Pat Beverly, who knocks down the midi. That's why we brought you in here, Pat. Good defense and knocking down those open looks. That's all we want. Look at Pat. 
Right here getting the pump fake to go. Going through all kinds of contact and one in the paint. Pat Beverly can make some contested layups. I don't even get it. Because I didn't think. I got to look and see what his badges are. He must have like acrobat. Or, I, I don't even know. He got something that lets him convert a high amount of layups. Trust me. Late in the game, folks. Under two minutes. Porzingis for three. Let's go. He's cashing out the three-pointer. We drawing the curtains on the Spurs. How are we losing to the Hawks and beating the Spurs? I guess it don't matter, man. Every team entitled to a bad day. Maybe the Spurs just had a bad shooting day, but the Knicks didn't. So I'm feeling like we back, man, and we looking like a top-tier team in the East. We are currently second or third in the East, so kudos for that. We have already won more games this year than Phil Jackson's squad won last year. So I'm feeling like the man. But that's all I got for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me get that thumbs up, y'all. And I'm out the next time, all right? Peace.